if you're just about a starting multiplication table, do not, I repeat it, do not memorize. Have you forced your child to memorize? Because here's what happens. Fast forward three years, right? If the multiplication is me uh, memorized, the kid is going to start hitting the word problems. You can't memorize your way out of uh, word problems no matter what, because each word problem is going to present a different situation. And then that requires critical thinking, right? There's uh, so much stuff built in in the multiplication table that you can develop the critical thinking. Fast forward nine years, if your kid somehow memorized and got through the beginning of the word problems, all of a sudden you're going to get into an area where it's actually uh, um, what we call the trigonometry, right? It has visual components to it. So at the beginning, uh, when you memorize the multiplication table, you miss the components to see what kind of learner your child is. It might be auditory, it might be kinesthetic, it might be visual. You miss the entire diagnose process developing a strength for your child when the things gets hard. Right? So multiplication table, that's if everything went fine and your kids actually got the multiplication table. Now let's go on the other end if multiplication table did not go right, right? You got a child who is scared now because memorization is painful. Yeah, a lot of the things and you have to repeat a lot to get that result of multiplication. So now the kid is scared how much work is required to do math. So one thing is scary. You don't want the math to be scary for your kid. Uh, what else could go wrong if you memorize it? If you memorize it, if for girls especially, right? One thing kids like to do memorization is say uh, stacking. They are adding it. So let's just take a five. So five plus five is 10, plus five again is 15, plus five is 20. See, so yeah, they on the surface, they looks like they got a multiplication table so they can go five, 10, 15. But here's what they don't get. Uh, independently, independently, six times five, they go, wow, well, I have to go back all the way to five plus five, plus five plus five. It takes time, right? Fast forward when the kid started taking SAT during the 10th grade, 11th grade, all the tests are timed. Now you got the kid who is going to reach for a calculator and might be scared or not be able to manage the time because it didn't um, it weren't aware of the time factor when you memorize the multiplication table. So there's just so many pitfalls of memorizing. Do not memorize. And then next uh, uh, lecture, we're going to talk about what's the best way, most the most efficient way. If you look forward in nine years, looking backward, reverse engineering it, what can you do? What's the best way to give that multiplication table to your kids? Stay tuned.